from Adam Blakeney. A few different projects which I'm involved looking at different mobility devices for individuals that have mobility impairments, primarily wheelchair users. We have a very rich history on campus of wheelchairs and I did look up the last traditional wheelchair patent and it was from 1864 or so and it's not really changed. I wanted to liberate the hands from having to push wheels in order to be able to do a lot of other things and have a lot of other experiences that just aren't convenient or completely inaccessible for daily wheelchair users. We want to create something that's hands-free, something that's lightweight, and something that has a small footprint. What happened with this project is that Adam, the voice of the user, initiated and brought us on as collaborators with him. And one of the great things that I love about this team is that we're doing design with people with disabilities instead of just design for people with disabilities. So our team encompasses individuals with disabilities. Not only is it fully embracing all elements of campus from north to south, engineering to industrial design, but disability is literally at the heart of the project. I'd watch uh, people come by on segways and, and these hoverboards and, and I thought, why can't we do this? Why can't I sit on a self-balancing device and move in that way? Which would free my hands from having to push the wheels, which um, oftentimes you, you just can't do things because your hands are occupied with, with pushing. So they originally contacted me asking if I could put a chair on top of a segway. And I was like, well, that's great. However, maybe we could do something different. Segway does take some time to get used to it. And you can easily fall off a Segway. And at that time, the new Star Wars movie had just come out where there's this ball robot, BB-8. <laughs> Additionally, my kids had been watching the Nickelodeon show Avatar, The Last Airbender, where that character also rides on a ball of air. It's like, couldn't we possibly make this device so we were riding on a ball? Actually, I made one drawing of a chair just sitting on top of BB-8, just because, just to get that, that idea. One of our other team members at the time, Tim Brettel, who's a professor in aerospace engineering, he said, I know of an existing ball robot called the Ballbot that is being developed out at Carnegie Mellon University by Professor Ralph Hollis. And that technology actually exists. So that's how we decided, wow, we would try to put a chair on a Ballbot. If you've had experience of using a wheelchair, it's forward, it's back. I mean, there's a lot of navigation. And we wanted a chair that was organic so you can dance, you can move, it, can, it moves with your body. And that way, the technology takes second place. It's the person first. There are ways that you can move on a ball that you just can't move on wheels. Just a way of, of moving in a little more elegant, more organic manner. So our prototype, we have the ball is our spherical wheel. And it's driven, in, in this case, by three motors that are then driven by Omni wheels. And this allows us to have the omnidirectional motion. So we actually spent quite a long time thinking about the ball and the construction of the ball, what the materials would be, what would be covered with. So after a very long time, we finally actually are ending up with a bowling ball. We're using a, a lightweight bowling ball and we're 3D printing patches of TPU or plastic attaching them like a soccer ball pattern uh, on the outside of that bowling ball. By adding on these 3D printed patches, we get a little bit of added friction because we don't want it super slippy like a normal bowling ball would be. Really a great part of it was that I was able to move laterally, right? So I can move lateral left, lateral right. I, mean, I haven't done that for, since I had a spinal cord injury um, because you just can't do that <laughs> in a, in a four-wheel chair. It's not, it's impossible. So then to do that with a ball button, it was amazing. It was amazing. Every time I had to jump back into my everyday chair, it was, uh, <laughs> it was a sad day. So. It really 
shows what happens when you bring engineering, research, design and an assistive technology to life where function and the emotional needs of users are so intertwined. The other really great thing was we were shooting commercial for the university in the Big Ten Network and we had Adam walking hand in hand with his wife Laura and it was the first time that he said he's able to actually walk with her and move with her while holding her hand. And that was an amazing experience too. It's striking and powerful that I can sit in something and use something that really started out as, as just a little sketch that I, that I drew on a piece of scrap paper. I mean, that's, that's where it started. I just, I sketched it out and I said, this would be useful. I think this is a good idea and let's figure out how to make it.